computer. Yes. Recording. It's recording. Yay! It's going to be very exciting to see what we're going to do today. <laughs> no, you have to do it too at the same time. <laughs> 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 oh god uh, we're gonna be a little bit crazy today but the thing is we really wanted to invite everybody to have this um i don't know we have been creating in the last couple of weeks towards this event class week in spain that from the beginning was a foundation class and then i woke up in like how and like i want to change it all to something totally different talk to joel talk to joe and joe constantly was connecting with me about foundation and I was like oh, I, I might just show up and just be there I'm like yes it's weird and I totally get it and uh, Joaquin I invited to have sessions there and be part of the class in the way we could or whatever and then I was like no let's do something totally different let's use the tools yes contribute to everybody that wants to create something different and doesn't really un like you know sometimes you feel you need some support or you go into your head and you stop yourself or you buy into the limitations. And I was like, what would happen if we're together almost a week and contribute to everything you wanted to create? So there is basically the space of infinite possibilities and we all contribute into the direction that you're willing to go. And um, maybe it becomes really comfortable, uncomfortable, maybe it's just fun and maybe we can go somewhere that we wouldn't go if we were on our own. And we have these amazing tools. Yes, you can jump up there if you want to go. So, in this, I'm here. <laughs> oh, genius. She wants to be a part of this too. I know. I know. She's like, that was the place. Uh, I know that place. I love it. And yeah. I really. Can we go back? back? Why can't we go there? <laughs> totally. I don't think she wants to be in this apartment anymore. Um, she became my outside dog, and the hotel wanted to keep her. And so they basically offered to keep her until I come back. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to leave my dog. <laughs> um, but basically, the, when I was or had been in space, again, oh, <laughs> like someone to. Um, what happened is that all my creation energy kept kept becoming greater and greater and there were like land is, is active it got so incredibly contributions i was like what would happen if we were in this space this energy the people that are there the animals nature and with amazing creators and with the energy that i felt like with louise joel and drag came i was like and there's a lot more people but i was like oh guys we, we there's no judgments there's just contribution we have a lot of fun and we basically call each other on the energies that are not working. We just go there and like, hey, let's change that. So I was like, what would happen if we were living from choice, possibility, contribution, and questions? And we were also tapping into benevolent capitalism that still is maybe just a weird word or two weird words, but really from the space that you are contributing to something greater for everybody. Um, and that if we were living that together, would we were willing to live it more in this world? Because I see when more people go together and create something, it's incredible the potency of that. And I would like to explore that with a lot of more people. So I was like, this is the most fun energy I could choose to create with and really get the tools into action with everybody. So you can bring your life, your project, your business, anything. And we'll have different sessions and classes. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that. And, and every day bring up the things that are limiting you or whatever that is. So everybody has different qualities um, that are bringing in for this. And so we have, have so much to say about it, but I was like, oh. <laughs> Stop and do a little break and invite Joel and Joel come to talk. Uh, that's definitely a challenge to stop me from talking. <laughs> and I haven't, I've been driving all day. <laughs> God, I'm getting already hot. <laughs> I mean, really, what if you would reach this expansiveness? You would be so expansive. Expansive, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <Right. laughs> or you would reach would be that space of total creation where creation would just flow the blood would be creation you know how much it gets me excited this is really what i like 
creation. You, I live by it. I breathe by it. As soon as I get into that energy, I'm just popping off the wall. And this class is exactly that. I started talking to somebody about it and it was like you. I said, okay, let me stop. Let me stop because it's so exciting. I mean, really, what would you like to create that you haven't been willing to? What would you like to contribute? What would, could we all contribute to all of you? I mean, for me, this creation is all my life, really. <laughs> I get excited. <laughs> Got in hot, too. <laughs> really, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm going to take something off. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> and that would introduce perfect body. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a really good introduction to Joachim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I've been thinking a lot of uh, bodies and having a lot of awarenesses around my my body, but, but also other people's bodies. And and in Lankavia, I, I was thinking a lot about it. And... and it seemed to me like we can expand a lot around that subject because it's um so so what i would like to create in spain would be like to have different attentions around our bodies like uh so to start the day with like introducing okay so how would your body like to move? What kind of clothes would you like to have? What what kind of food would it like to eat? And so really, really using the tools on an everyday basis, like really be the tools and, and play with them around your body. So, uh, and also doing workouts, maybe go for a run. I mean, there's horses there. So like play with your body and the horse. So, so that's, um, yeah dancing like just be with your body because it's at least me most of the time i i, I study full time i work full time I, like uh, there's not a lot of time where you get to spend with just your body so 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 have like full attention to your body doing stuff with it, it it's like hanging out with your best friend and I mean, it, it could be drinking wine, drinking champagne. I mean, eating delicious food, hanging out with people. Who who would you like to have a conversation with? Like, who would you like a hug from? Or, or like, just get more awarenesses around your body. Yeah, that really turns me on. Mm. Dancing. Yeah, me too. God, it's really <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa, you were talking about that on when you were on the horses, yeah. how you really saw the limitations and things like that. It was amazing what you experienced. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, if you guys are writing, you, you know a lot about that. And for me, it began, every question I had showed up while I was writing and I got to be aware how things were limiting me or wow here's a possibility because the horse was showing me all the time I mean, i did ask the horses to do it as well but it basically was constantly showing where if i was not synced if i was more in my head if i was not in my body or oh god it's just doing the opposite of what i'm thinking like every time anytime because i was asking a lot to be more to be more connected to my body more awareness and also how i can create in a different way connected to the planet to nature and the energy of contribution and and i was like oh there is so much more than I, what i think i know or what i think is possible um and it was funny because i came directly from a, a cf class sort of like facilitated from rome and i end up in this hotel because i didn't have an apartment anymore in spain and I was going to Sevilla and I was like, I need a place just to land and I'll find something. And it was one of the places that were allowed dogs. And then I arrived there and I literally started a little bit crying because I was like, this feels like home in a place. Like it was like in Costa Rica, the energy. I was like, I felt so nurtured. So the first walk, I'm like, what is this? How, how did this not, how did I not know about this place before? Um, so that's where I'm like, all these energies together and the horses are really good because they're, uh, they're not checking out. They're like, like not on like we're going because uh, we have a person on me. Like they're really aware as well, connected to you. So that's what I like. They'll still walk. So you can do, you can have a horseback riding. I've never done it before. 
the, the horses are really great in that way. And the trainer, Raul, um, he's also really good. He's so aware where you are, what you function from and all that. And so he, he showed me a lot without knowing about awareness. He knew a lot about things and he could read my mind. And I was like, this is really, you're like that. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> For him, it wasn't strange. And I'm like, what if that is what exists on the planet? A much more natural way of existing together, of being together. Mm. And, and you were talking about how much control you realize how much control you had over things riding with the horses and that's the same thing with joachim how much control are we having over our bodies that limit us in whatever project whatever we want to do that yeah. was really amazing to me really i mean what country oh god i just can't wait to get on those horses and <laughs> I know, I know. We've booked the whole place. Um, so basically, it's only going to be us during that, that week. Um, so we have a lot of surprises <laughs> for all of you guys. We have booked it, so it's included, uh, of course, the stay. And we're going to share double rooms because they only have 10 rooms. And I will make sure that you have a good partner that you like. <laughs> <laughs> and breakfast and lunch is included in the price. Um, at least two dinners. And then the rest is basically, we're going to do different things. So you can choose, you can either eat at the hotel, but we have our own chef. So we get to choose also to order things and I'll, we'll be emailing you guys about preferences and things like that. I have some really good surprises and he will basically adjust anything we would like. And I really would like the best for you guys. Um, if you know me, you know, I'm very picky with food. Um, I really like the delicious things and I would not be okay doing less for this class. Um, <laughs> So um, just be aware, great food, great drinks, anything you'd like. Um, I prepare them like you guys know how to do mojitos. You know, I go like, I have, a, I have a drink list. Not that that's important, but I just want to know that they know. <laughs> um, and he surprised me with uh, food that are very Spanish local to the area. And I was like, oh, this is great. What is it? And then he tells me what it is. I'm like, oh, let's, let's have this in our class. So I got to taste a lot of things that he was um, planning and looking at doing with us as well. Um, and the chef is really excited. Uh, he does not speak a lot of English. Um, he's very kind and very service minded. Everybody there is very, very kind. So that's very nice and very nurturing. Um, so, uh, and they're so curious about us. You have no idea how curious they are about us coming. What are you guys going to do? Can we listen in? I'm like, yes, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> You're part of this. We'll just have to make sure you run your bars. You know the thing I'm going to touch your head again? You're like, oh, yeah, okay. And we need some guinea pigs. So you guys have to be okay with that. So I made it very clear because otherwise they're going to be so fried after a day of us being <laughs> They're like, but if you don't book it out, we can book people. I'm like, no, that does not work. We're too loud. We're too happy. We're going to disturb everybody. So no. So even we didn't fill out this venue, I'm not going to allow the people to live there because we're, we're going to be too happy. Um, <laughs> access so it doesn't work. Um, so we're going to have a space where we create. And there's different rooms. So we're going to have workshops. Um, during the day and there's riding in the morning early and in, in the evening we're going to do some um, fun uh, adventures around the area as well uh, we're also going to go eat dinner in the in the town next that has Crossa Lima we're going to do wine tasting or any tasting you'd like um, and also do some magic on wine or water to change the molecules because that's really a lot of fun um, hard thing is to find bad wine um, that's one of the things I have um, <laughs> But we'll find something that we can change the molecules and play with that. Uh, so we're going to do a lot of things. Like also, whoever joins, this is the thing. We don't want to make a country schedule 100% today. Because whoever joins is going to be part of the creation. And that's what we're going to tap into and create from. Uh, in general, we're definitely going to have workshops with bodies. And uh, one of the topics Gary chose for Joachim is... I uh, used to it. <laughs> I can definitely. I was like, I can, I was like I sexualness. I mean, now you freeze my brain. <laughs> that was good, Joachim. <laughs> you have to say it. Um. The no. I can't really not remember now. I'm bad. I'm really bad. What the fuck did he say? 
the gift the of gift? sexualness. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The the gift? Gift? Yeah. I don't know it. That was, what did you do with me? Um, <laughs> the gift of sexualness. That's one of the classes Joe can will have. And I'm like, that's already uncomfortable for me. So I'm going to go to that workshop. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to have about money. Of course, we're going to have several things about creation and what that means and all that business. Uh, joy. So there's areas where we limit ourselves in creation that we're going to address. We're also going to look how we can contribute to each other. One thing I looked and talked to uh, the group that we're working on together is like, okay, we need to talk in the evenings and just check in if anybody had any hangups, wherever it went wrong. Or, you know, if somebody comments something and you get stuck on that, I would love if we can address that and change that in the moment, who do we don't continue having that in our universes? Because I see that so easily. You want to contribute and they say something, it goes weird. Um, and then you pick that up and you have that in your space. Let's see if we can be so vulnerable and push down our barriers to really be there 100%. What do I require? Can I get out of right and wrong? Can I get out of defending myself? Can I be willing to be that honest that, hey, that was weird i don't know what to do with myself with that and be that space where we are allowed to have limitations and are willing to change it in any moment yes i love that papa can i show it for you yes i was like i would love i was like let's do a taster about the class and the thing i was like do you guys have any questions or is it anything that you're creating at the moment that you would like some contribution because i love that i'm i'm definitely really crazy when it comes to cre creation and business and money and i love that um so is there anything we can contribute with you guys for you guys now Yes, Ugu wants a class between uh, Maestro and Spain for Japanese people in Europe. So what we could we do to create that so she can stay and be in Spain after Maestro? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wow, that's cool. Really? Yes, it's almost two weeks. I know it's already thinking. Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> we can have more classes. Thinking about that. We can have more classes. Yeah, I was really thinking about that creation already, even though I don't have any, you know, anybody in Europe who are Japanese and are interested in, yeah. the, you know, yet. the Amazon Foundation yet. But I started to ask the questions. That's awesome. Yes. I mean, that would be freaking fun. What would happen if you start facilitating classes in Europe? Mia yeah, Kuhn? exactly. Really you know the weirdest thing I must say, this is, <laughs> Absolutely. Little. Every time I was there, because I was flying, basically I was living in this hotel for two months. So I was flying in and out from that hotel. Um, mm -hmm. They were like, are you coming back? I mean, yeah, this is my home. I don't have anywhere. Else. I'm just, just joking. But every time I was there, there was people from Japan. I was like, oh, really? How did they find this place? Well, there was yeah. one guy who was 18. He was there with his wife. And mm -hmm. he had 50 years marriage anniversary. His daughter mm -hmm. was there with a husband. So the daughter, daughter was married to a German guy living in Germany. They flew wow. in from, from Japan and they had celebration in this hotel for five days and were hiking. It's a very popular hiking area. Like it's really, wow. really, the nature is so beautiful, exceptional, uh, like the flowers and plants and everything. Birds, a lot mm -hmm. of bird watchers come there. Uh, so it's very, and, and riding there is so beautiful. Um, every person I met that went out riding, I usually join every group because <laughs> they don't want to go out riding only with me, even if I was absolutely annoying about that. Um, so they're like, so we have a group, you can come. Okay, newbie, newbies? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll just go riding do, 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 with them. Um, so, so it was funny because everybody said that was there, this is so different. It's so magical. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes. And it was funny because there were always Japanese people. And I always asked them, how did you find it? Well, blah, blah. everybody its own story but it was really cool. Wow. So what would it take? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I'm sure we have a Japanese on the <laughs> like, yes. yeah. A week without Japanese there? I have not had that yet. <laughs> yeah, Japanese, sure. Spanish, Germans were always there too. So I was like, this is fun. So it was very international. Wow. So how many Japanese did they know that would really love your class and are just waiting for you just before the other one? Really? <laughs> 
I will ask that question. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> also, be willing to, and now we know it, so I have it in my universe and I can see what shows up, but also be willing to post it in different places on Facebook so yeah. people know you're available. Because, mm -hmm. hey, Japanese in Europe, that's kind of like exotic. Mm -hmm. what, can we, what can we do and be for you so you create yeah. and that becomes your reality? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> what a take. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can always come and visit us in, in Scandinavia other ways, me in Helsingborg or something, if you don't, if you have a couple of days off. It really? Helps. Really? Thank you. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> <laughs> if I still have a place to stay, yes. And I should have one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you never know with me anymore. I don't know myself either how I'm going to do Um But yeah. Oh, how does it get any better? <laughs> Nicholas, what's going on in your universe? Good question. <laughs> you know what? Just when you ask the question, then it's like my brain is like doing like, uh, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you all too. Can you just be online if you can't be in Spain? Can we just have you online for the whole week? <laughs> I can send you, uh, maybe I can make uh, like a um, roll up with my face. Or yes. Awesome. <laughs> All the people we miss will have roll-ups in there. That would them. be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hug them and kiss them. Enjoy your drink. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my god, that's funny. Just oh, the right roll-up for you. <laughs> it will definitely be a different class. I will roll yes. it up for you. Sorry. Oh. No, but that would be... Yeah, it's... It, I really like the, the idea of the, the class. I, for me, it, yeah. it's really... I don't really know how to put it with words, but it's like there are some stuff that I use to stop myself or like a lot of judgment of, my, of me. And yeah, so... When it comes to creation, it's like I always I always start something and then I stop and start something else and then I stop and so yeah for me the the class is really is really light like it, w it would be a great contribution and and I, I really like the the idea to to do it together in some way as well. I mean. Yeah. If you look at the energy when when you have in certain areas you have people like encouraging you like how's it going this is awesome and like wow it is different you kind of like get yeah. like, almost like push forward like in a beautiful nice energy of tsunami like we're going there i have like 10 people backing me up mm. um yeah and i love <laughs> this idea and sometimes it's more like the the contrary you know that's more like the competition thing yeah between people where there is no competition but we are doing competition anyway because that's so natural in this world i mean it's, it's also like when you have an idea how do you institute it and then it often some at some point it fails either like time or money or you don't know the how uh, and we all know from the concept, we don't know, need to know the hat, how, we just need to choose and go forward. And so often we stop it by something. And I was just like, okay, how many ideas have I been stopping myself because I don't have time or I don't have this or I don't have that. And I'm like, I'm bringing a couple of challenges to you guys through this class <laughs> uh, that I would like to change and also create even more. I have quite a lot of ideas. It's popping up even more ideas lately. So I was like, I... I really need a big company for now. I'm going to institute all of these things, or I need a lot of other people doing the things, or I don't know what. But th this thing's okay. Are you, and this is maybe also the most uncomfortable thing is, are you willing to receive the support and contribution from 20, 30 people? Yes. That freaking just have your back and he just wants to move you uh -huh. forward. 
like yeah that's amazing just the the energy of it it's like woo mm. we have to close the gates so nobody runs out no way <laughs> <laughs> make sure these are not electrical opening you can't open them anymore <laughs> No, but I can see how comfort, uh, com uncomfortable that is for myself. I have, I basically, I have had a couple of people working in my company and then I, there's always something that shows up. So I am on my own again, kind of thing. And then have different projects and classes and all that. And I'm like, I haven't really let in people totally into my business and my life that they could contribute fully and were willing to be part. And also I make money on everything they work with me. I'm like, I'm changing that. So there's a lot of things about this contribution that is so valuable and I think vital in a creation part that we avoid or reject or don't know how, or some people grow up, well, if I include somebody, they'll just use me or use me to your advantage. And then it fails again. I grew up in fam family business. They're like, yes, you can trust in your family. You can't trust in other people as much. Like, That's bullshit. Um, so there's a lot of things that there's changeable where I'm like, okay. And I think all of us know this and are aware of this. And there might be other areas that you know much more about things than I do or we do. And that's why I want us all to work on this together. Yes, we might be leading mm -hmm. it a little bit more, but I want us, I you know every person that's coming will be like this equal energy and even more. So it's not that you're less or you don't know. You'll have aspects I have no clue about. Um, so that's where like, I would like us together to create this. Uh, and we'll be aware of things. And we lead some workshops. And then you'll be talking. Then we go out for a hike and work things through there. We're on a horse. We ask questions. So we'll have different workshops going on at the same time too. Um, so you guys can go where the energy is and we'll be recording as much as possible so you can listen to that afterwards. So we're going to do, it's going to be quite crazy in a way that um, we also have to let it go of control. What if Joel horseback riding contributes to what I'm doing with Luisa in the venue? Like what if there is this contribution in a larger perspective where I cannot control and limit it, but I, I can choose to receive the contribution of it. Um, so, mm -hmm. exactly. wow. we have a playground. Yeah, because this this is the 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 doing everything together part. That's that's what really turns me on. Because it's you 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 all been to classes, I guess, or assume, and and it's like it's one thing to be in class and get everything served and and, and feel the energy of that, but. Once you, for, for me at least, I don't know what's, what's happening in, in your world when you get back home from class. It's like after class, that's like the real deal. That's when you're supposed to create and stuff. And so, so I'm thinking like when you're, when you're out in Spain together with a bunch of people and so we can talk it through and help each other and, and like discuss things or, or, or things that are hard for you or like really, really do what you, well, at least I don't have time to do in class because there's, there's loads of people and I find them all interesting and I would love to talk to them, but the time just ain't enough. But so, th so for me, this is what this is about. Like you can actually get together and create together and help each other like oh well i'm good at this well it's just uh, you need to do this and that I, I had like two or three meetings in lankavi in the, um, uh, malaysia and those three meetings changed my world and that didn't even have anything to do with class so i'm like we could we should we should really use each other and, and be a contribution for each other because it's we are all a contribution for we, we know stuff. It's just, yeah, that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. Mm. That touched me right here. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Beautiful. <sighs> For me, that starts with, you know, seeing each other as a contribution. Yeah. Because I realized that a lot of time I see people like, uh, more as not i don't know how to put that but not as a contribution 
Mm. It's like I put my bar barriers up and then I can't receive anything at all. So well that's exactly what we're what we're thinking on on, on working at. Everywhere we we stop stop ourselves and, and it, that's why I call it life camp because this this is the real deal. We do something and something pops up and we're we're able to actually work with that on the spot. And there's so many people that can be a contribution for you in many ways. It's, yeah, it's, that's really what it's about. And Luis is a really great horse rider. I just want to say that too. She, she's officially, uh, she puts herself there too, but I'm trying to open up some other possibilities. Uh, she's going to help us a lot with all the practical things, but she has so many capacities. I am definitely going to put her in the spot at some point because <laughs> uh, she's brilliant. Um, and you'll, you'll get to know that. Um, but she's also an amazing writer. Um, I know we have an amazing a writer slash teacher there too, Raul. He doesn't speak a lot of English either, but he energetic. But he's very handsome. <laughs> We're even a Spanish handsome man there too. Yes. <laughs> and he, the funny part is he doesn't put up barriers, so he's always there, like really in your face with whatever is and he doesn't have so many points of view so he'll just say whatever is oh you do this and this and this and i'm like oh my god and he just puts it out there in the world without a point of view and i'm like wow and you can receive it because there's no point of view there's nothing behind it and it, it was a funny one day because i had been there for two weeks and i hadn't washed my clothes and we were riding because i had a lesson with him he looks at me um does anybody show you where the washing machine is and i'm like <laughs> and I just thought the same thought in the morning. I was like, I might just have to wash your ass or something. I'm out in nowhere land and um, I could do hand wash, but I don't like that. So, and there's no like room service, send away your clothes. I hadn't asked either. So I had to, and he just says it like this. We had had silence. Is that machine, the washing machine? And I'm like, no, but I really need one. <laughs> um, that's, that's the thing where there is this thing every energy is alive every energy is there so whatever you're thinking about what if you allowed it to contribute and be there and that's one of the things i got so surprised being there like what everything i was thinking about wondering about it started just appearing in front of me i was like you gotta be kidding so i had a lot of challenging really receiving and uh seeing how nature and a space place nature people all that just were there directly with information that i was asking about and i'm like this is kind of a little bit exactly what i would like the world to look like and it definitely challenged me like okay can this be the reality i could be living all the time and you know then the head tripping oh blah, 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 yeah. and i'm like okay if i don't go there what would happen uh, and if i'm willing to lower my barriers even when i go let's just really crazy freaking her. and it was really every time i just asked a question about anything it showed up and i was like okay what can i do and be here and what can i what can i invite people to to this energy and i would like to live it and i would like more people to come along and be this and i have a lot of things i'd like to change and i'd like to also be totally vulnerable and open with that and do that together with more people because it will be different when we do it together. So I was like, I know I might even end up living there all the time in this place. Uh, <laughs> they have invited me to give them a proposal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, they're so different there. It's incredible. I was like, oh my God, they're, they were challenging me with every thought I had like, oh, but you can do this, Liz, in here. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I was like, wishes do come true all the time if you're willing to ask the question and you're willing to receive. And so, like, what magic are you willing to live? What, like, what desires do you have that you're not allowing yourself to receive? What are you dreaming about? What would you like to create in the world? Like, is there any business things? I, I love business. So I can kick your ass a lot in that area. Um, and I know all of you have so much gifts. I know every person I've ever met that is willing to create something, like just want to contribute. They have so much potential. They have so many possibilities, but often they have something that stops them. And I was like, okay, but what if that 
was not your reality anymore? And what if you were willing to create exactly what you desire, even if you don't know exactly how it looks? Like what if there's a, like, like a larger question in it, and then the details are the way, ones that come along. So you don't even have to know how it will look like. Crazy possibilities. I mean, yes. and, and yeah, no, I'm not. I'm, I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Listen. Yeah, it's not like I saw something about the land itself. You said something a little bit about it, but there's like, when I look at pictures of it, it's like I, I feel kind of drawn into it or like there is a certain. Yeah, the land is, is it's a natural park. So the place is called. Um, uh, Tambor del Llano. It's middle, I call it national park, but it's not. It's a natural park. Uh, there is basically only organic growing there, so everything is, they have sheep. But the hotel is slash a farm, but there's no farmhouse. There's only the hotel, and around this, they bought a lot, a lot of um, um, Mark, I was going to, I'm confusing. Land. Land. <laughs> and land. Hills. <laughs> Hills. Yeah. Hills and forests and nature and flowers. And there's this creek along the way. You're going to, if you go horseback riding, I, I've already decided we need to go one of those oh, trails along the water. It's delicious. There's a natural swimming pool with frogs and <laughs> turtles and things like that, that we can go swimming if we want. Um, oh. Basically, it's untouched. So they are not allowed to, um, they're not allowed to do more houses there. They're not allowed to affect the place. Um, so it was really interesting to go through the whole thing. They are there creating all the cork. It's a cork district. So the corks you have in the wine bottle, there's like four areas or four countries that they grow cork. And this is one of them. And I think it takes like 30 to 40 years before you're allowed to take off cork the first time of a tree. And then every 10 years. And I'm like, they must have a lot of patience for that business. So they have that in the hotel that they're creating. They have the sheep that are organic. So um, the meat, the lamb meat we eat is the ones I've seen get born. And now we will have them for lunch or dinner. Um, I'm to, some people react, but I was like, and, and the hotel manager, really cute lady. The first one that arrived, she named it. And it was, Carly, Carmen and Lisa, and Carly. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name it because if I name it, they're not allowed to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like know this. It was so funny because everybody's involved in this thing. And, and it is a farm. So they will definitely kill some of the lamb. It will definitely gum food. And it's organic food. They serve in breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. Um, all of these things are connected to each other. So you live part of it. Um, and that's one of the things I saw when I was walking there. Everything is integrated. Everything's alive. I was, like, I was I can, when I talk, I'm vibrating that energy. It was like when I walked in Costa Rica in the space where Gary was like in a Logar or Proa that it's called now, it vibrates. And I was like, this is weird. It's kind of similar. And that's the energy of this nurturing, caring amazing energy that I just love and there's a lot of places around the world but I'm like okay how many more places are there that we can be in contribute to our beings our bodies and our creations um, mm. I like that and there was a lot more things going on there and I got to see a lot of things like if you're horseback riding and they need to pick up a lamb they'll do it with you I was like mm -hmm. you get part of the whole creation of the whole hotel the farm and everything uh, and I really liked that so I was like okay I'm learning so much about having a farm or having a hotel um so I got I was kind of half staff there and things like that so it was also really fun because they don't exclude you from anything um, I will be posting a video very soon. They have made a video about the place um, and they'll publish it very soon. The funny thing, you'll see me in it. <laughs> Doing yoga. <laughs> I'm a yoga teacher. <laughs> so while I'm there, I was photographed three times for different things. And like there were journalists there. There were, there were, because the, the area is very famous but also a little bit still unknown because it's n it will never be market big. They can't expand it like big industry. So it's a very, you have to, you'll see when you get there, if you're really out in nature. There's no pa cars passing by. You don't hear basically a car ever. 
um, we're out there. We walk out. The horses are there. The sheep are there. Uh, one time the horses had, they were around the hotel. They're still a little bit further away because uh, they somebody let them loose or something. So it's all these things that are very, very natural. Uh, you're connected. You're being part of it, basically. Um, but again, I'm the yoga teacher because the yoga teacher did not want to appear in the video. He didn't want to have marketing. And I was like, you're crazy. I would be the yoga. I told the hotel, well, if somebody wants that teacher because they saw them on the video, <laughs> I, I will do the class. They just have to pay me well. That's, I did yoga 10 years ago. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> Good creation. <laughs> and, my people, and my students were the, the horse guy and the, the manager. <laughs> You'll see. It was kind of funny. I was like, that's oh, fine. So all the fun parts, and I'm just like, how much fun can you have in life? And I was like, wow, how cool would it be if we all get to be in some kind of article afterwards, or maybe we could create ourselves something there. Like, what can we create there? What do you need for your marketing that we can be a contribution to? Hmm. How do I get you out in the world? That would be one of my questions. I want you to be famous. What can I contribute to you? <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> They're really pulling you in <laughs> in every way possible. Look, <laughs> <she's on> <laughs> yes, look, she's on the video. <laughs> I'm the first thing you see, kind of. You'll see it. <laughs> that was the first mega creation. I need to just sign a disclaimer this week, and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine with that, but it was a beautiful video. You'll see things. It's really, really beautiful. I was like, I was crying when I saw it. Um, but it's really, it's really the energy that is there, and it's exactly how what you see in the film is what you're living there. And um, so, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to, yeah. I mean, if you want to arrive earlier to the event, you do have to book very soon because it's getting full. Uh, we don't have many rooms. We have, of course, our blocked rooms, and I think there's there's space afterwards more. So if you want to stay, it's easier to stay afterwards than earlier. Um, but please do because they can. Uh, they can. Anybody can come there, and it's beautiful. And if it gets full, we also have a different hotel nearby that you can. Wa it's walking distance, um, but we want you all to live in the hotel if possible. Gus, it's freaking a lot of fun, but um, we will we will supply you guys with earplugs and all that in case we're everybody's too loud, and we'll see how we do with the sound and all those. Things. We're too happy in the evenings. Others uh, on the hills, we go up the hills and sit there if we're too loud. Like the thing is, we have the place to to create for us. And I know when Joel starts laughing, um, he'll wake up the sheep and the dog and the horses. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 kind of like okay, how much fun are you willing to have, and are you willing to receive what you ask for? And and sometimes I also ask myself, am I willing to really ask as great as I would like it to be, or I try to ask for a little less so it's possible according to my 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 mind. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing I've challenged myself a lot lately because I'm like, mm. I would like the most amazing life possible, and then like. Oh, and then I can see how I like almost go smaller. I'm like, okay, I go smaller because I look where I am today. But what if I didn't go there? Mm, yes, exactly. Oh, Is yeah. there anyone that has a, a question about the, um, the whole creation thing or the, the anything? Sonia, Karen, Susanna. <laughs> yeah. Susanna loves horses. She has horses. Know, she has lots. Thank you, Italiano, my kid. I have many, many of them are leaving next week. Aww. So it oh, is an important moment in my life. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Happy for you. Cool. It's fine, Sonia, if you can, well, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia, you're on. But also, like, like, if I look at this bunch of people, we're all from different countries, different languages and all that, and I love that energy. It's so international, and I, I I'm, wouldn't be surprised if we kind of had one person from every country. Not maybe not, but more, um, and really have that international aspect. And uh, one thing when I was 
when I coach businesses in general that I look at is that every person has at least 100 people that they are connected to quite closely. So we all have like 100 people in our network that we can connect somebody with. I love connecting with people. Like that's like, I put them together and boop, they create. Like that's the things that I like. I see energy like, Oof, they, they're and not that they have to, but when there's a question or a person that says something, it kind of just like goes with me. And then I'm like, oh, there is energy. Um, and everybody has that. So I was like, okay, if we put a bunch of people together and everybody has 100 connect, connecting people, wonder what we can connect with and wonder what contribution I bring along that I could hand to you. Because, oh, I'm going, are you going to? Yes. Well, I have all these people there that I could help you with. So it's also on a larger scale. I'm looking at that. And uh, you'll see within a couple of days, I'm going to open a Facebook page um, that is going to be of that energy. It's still just a, okay, help me guys. So I want to open a Facebook page that is about contribution. Basically for me, when I look at it, if I have a question about something, I would like to post it there and like, Hey, does anybody know about blah, blah, blah. Or um, like, for example, the horse, horse, Writer, like he asked me, hey, listen, where can I buy a, a, a um, cheap iPhone 6? Because he had an older phone. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know things like that. I just get on your one at, when, whatever. And I was like, oh, who can I ask? And where could I ask? And I can ask on my Facebook page. But basically, I'd like a, a group where people are that are just like opening up their network or whatever. Like if you want to go to Sweden and need a house, hotel or whatever, and you're like, hey, I'm going to this place. Does anybody know anybody? Yes, I do. Do, 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 do. Like that energy. Um, and I'm looking for, what would I call it? Like I was looking at global, global connecting or global contribution or um, like, what would you call it? If you get, do you guys get what I mean? Connection.com. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. Global connection. connection. Like booking.com. <laughs> <laughs> For anything. <laughs> oh. Global. What did you say, Susanna? <laughs> A global connection. Mm -hmm. Oh, Susanna, there you wrote it there. Cool. Cool. Yeah, because I mean, it doesn't have to be part of it, but I was like, there's so many people wanting to contribute with things. And I was like, okay, um, I just want to have a space where there's more of that actively as well. And you can really ask specific things because um, we all have so much. We all have so many possibilities and, and things. I was like, okay, I, I just want to create that space and I would like to contribute even more with that. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, I have so many things coming in my head. SOS. <laughs> SOS uh, contribution. <laughs> contribution. Well, maybe Q, Q and A. Question Q and, a. and answer. Q. Question. Ah, uh, Q and A. Global Q and A. Global Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> What turns you guys on? <laughs> connecting, connecting. Ooh, <laughs> Nika, that is really good. I oh, oh my glass. Oh. This is good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Connecting mm -hmm. that thing. Wow, <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it. It's definitely very different, and I like it. Gets me thinking, like wondering, like oh, I like it. I feel maybe that. It's not like okay. super significant. I just have to choose That's something. Really I like it connecting. And we yeah, need to sign on that too. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I know because that thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, you can, uh, well, it is basically the energy connecting uh, things. So it's like I yes, know. it's absolutely freaking brilliant. Nicholas, see. Boom. Oh, great. Amazing. Great. 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 
<laughs> we'll Skype in. No, you'll be there. Just this is also the thing. Like, I want to pull in people, like energetically pulling people that have the amazing capacities, amazing contribution, that will be super fun to create and out create. I was like, I'm going to be a bitch and pull people in. <laughs> 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 and you know how to do that, right? <laughs> and I asked Jalen and Joachim to, help to do the same. So four fucking people, like potent people. Like every I person. Think you already started before you even created the class, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, how did I do that, Nicholas? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, me, I would never do that. <laughs> I can't say that because I do. <laughs> Before she was even born, she was doing it. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I don't really get, I didn't want to get out. So that was really weird. I was very late. I was like... <laughs> because if everything you're doing now you could do it before too so oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, oh my God. i love you susanna connecting to the the connection is turning on yeah they're connecting that's the thing like when when i'm creating connecting and all those things i get so vibrant my whole body gets vibrant i get so happy i get joyful i get orgasmic i get like and i can't I basically can't stop talking or like, <laughs> um, <laughs> if I talk too much in Spain, just shut me in a room and give me a glass of wine. I'll talk to the dog if I need to. That's fine. I'll record it. You can listen afterwards. <laughs> or send me down to the horses. <laughs> no, <nibble on> me. <laughs> um, they do listen very well. And then they just walk away when they don't like to. <laughs> They're kind of good in that way, or they just look at me and like, oh yeah, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. The funny part, I'm very aware of it, so you can like, yes. <laughs> and, and and the funny part will be, I don't know if you guys, if you know that uh, my ex boyfriend Jonas and I have chosen to do a foundation class again, and it was the only thing that we had. Sometimes not really an issue. We're like both love to talk so we're like this is my time <laughs> so, this is an eternal joke who gets to talk to us. <laughs> we both of us really talk a lot <laughs> especially with facilitate because we have so much fun just asking questions and talking about <laughs> so um we might have a silent retreat some hours <laughs> just to have a break <laughs> just to train <laughs> <laughs> we might have a nice hiking but we'll also do hiking and, and take some food out and like here's the thing anything we'd like to create is possible there um so then we're gonna have as much horseback riding as everybody wants and i was like i want to go all the time but i can't do that um they have six horses so we're gonna alternate and everybody's allowed on them and all that so it's gonna be really joyful and I also really, really want to work with the horses. I could do some body work with them just to get a different awareness. We're definitely going to do bars, bars and body work. And some of the workshop will definitely be on the hottest hours of the day. Because uh, inside it's really cool and nice. The house is awesome created in that way. And then the outside or outdoor activity is more in the morning and more later in the day or in the night or in the evening, I would say. Uh, it's not super hot, but it can definitely be between, between 25 and 30 because we are up in the mountains. So we don't get this extremely hot heat there um and the whole scenery will be different they they say it changes so much in color there so we'll see something very different than what is now um but we'll integrate everything so of course bars and body work we're all working with access so it's, it's a it's a yes no and pre we have said it's bars and foundation and if we have some crazy creators that want to come and they haven't done foundation we'll just have a conversation and see that it works so we have basic tools um but i also know when somebody's super eager to come to something because it matches the energy it usually works out really well but we also wanted you guys to know how to use some of the tools and, and really have had some experience with it and and so we can just jump into the whole creation of it um and we're also creating shuttles so pragmatic practical when you arrive we have um 
pick up on the 21st. We'll have different scenarios. You can go in a little bigger bus or smaller. We're still figuring out prices from Malaga or Sevilla. We're going to do pick up Malaga. You can also take a bus from Malaga. It takes two hours and you get to Gresolema. You can get picked up there or you can take a taxi. So there's, in Spain, in that area, it's quite it's cheap. I can say it's been really cheap and it's been uh, <laughs> surprising. When I arrived in the hotel, let's say this, I, I went for dinner and they say it's a four course meal and it cost 25 euros with wine. And I was like, well, we'll try it. I have a car, I can go somewhere else and it's not fun. Uh, and I have hardly had any meals outside of the hotels, hotel because it's so freaking good. And then I order wine and it says a la carte two euros for a glass of wine. I was like, let's try it. <laughs> and I was sitting there like, Oh my God, this is good shit. It was so good for, my body was so happy and I'm very picky when it comes to wine. Um, and I was sitting there, you gotta be kidding. Two euros, two euros. The coffee costs 250 there. So watch out for coffee. <laughs> um, better wine. <laughs> more than wine? Yes. <laughs> what is that? I don't get it. <laughs> Wine is so freaking cheap in Spain, so it's ridiculous. Uh, so I didn't even bother to buy a bottle. Uh, so I was just ordering glasses, and it was the bill was so cheap. So I was like, did they did they miss something on the bill? Um, so it was so weird things like that. Where I'm like, okay, they they, and it's not this hotel. It's it's in general in those areas because they just have lower prices. So I was like, so just be aware of that. Even if you have to add some things to your life there, like drinks and and maybe some coffees or whatever you want to do extra because uh, breakfast and lunch is included and some extra things. You'll see a lot, a lot of surprises, but there will be some food and snacks and drinks that you will have, you will buy if you would like to, but just be aware it's, it's very cheap. I think all the prices are also on their website. Um, I was just freaking surprised by all of those things. And it's like, and the water you can drink there will also have different um, drinks where you can drink uh, during the class and all that things. So you'll be taken care of really well. Um, I love doing that. I know Lisa loves doing that. I know Joel loves doing that. And I mean, we have to Mr. John Kim taking care of our bodies. So we'll have good things. Um, I have I have ordered house-made sangria. So they're going to create something really delicious for us. Um, I'm like, oh, because I was like, I want sangria. And they all look at me. And I was like, why are you looking like me? But that's not so good. I'm like, and they, somebody was picking up that it should, like, they, the, the, you buy sangria. I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, you want it from scratch? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, we can do that. And then, the, and then they all went crazy. The horse guy wants to do something that's really Spanish, but you get really drunk quickly. I'm like, what the hell was that? Something with apple, and I don't know. They, they had a blast looking at drinks for us and talking <laughs> quickly that I couldn't understand half of it. Um, so they have different tasks to surprise us. So they have things for uh -oh. us that I don't even know about. Um, wow. so that's how they love creating with us. Uh, and they're just waiting for us to give them a little bit and then they're gonna go and explore that. And, and I was like, wow, this is so different. Um, so I, I'm really happy and they are so happy and so curious. And then they have like a cleaning lady, um, Bailey. Um, she's adorable. She comes with the biggest smile to work and she loves taking care of your room. She loves taking care of the whole hotel. When I came back one of the times, he was the first person that saw me and she just ran and hugged me and kissed me. And I'm like, oh my God, she's just this caring person. And I ran body work on her because she has eczema. Uh, and I was like, okay, what else can I do for her body? And what can I bring for her, for her body to be better and all that. So I was like, they all are very open. Um, so we're going to see what we create all together there. So uh, I love them, as you might hear. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> for ongoing talking. You do. You are allowed to stop me. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, you're good at it. I know it's so exciting and so yummy. I mean, yeah. you know, as you're talking, I'm not drooling. Yes. No, I I really definitely have a little bit of hard time that I'm not there at the moment. I love it. I, I miss it a bit. I miss the people. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I'm so happy to be there with you guys and blast this reality and get it get us all out of the limitations and points of views because we don't have to have them anymore. It's definitely like, fuck them now. Let's create what we would like to see mm. on the planet and contribute to another the dot. And we don't have to wait to August. Let's just start now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If you yes. need anything, I'm here, freaking here. <laughs>
<laughs> the more you talk about that place, the more I think I'm going to be living there. I mean, really. It's so no, and also that's one of my topics, looking at co-housing. Like, how can we live together in different spaces? Because I would still, I think, well, I have to land here a little bit more. Might have want to have a house or a home in Sweden. I'd like something in France because I really like the energy there. Not always the people. Uh -huh. um, but, and then, because I ended up in a beautiful hotel as well in France with horses uh, as well. Oh, I'm like, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> I drive out of Spain and come to the first hotel. It's beautifully. It's out at a lake. And I was like, you're kidding. And they loved Sinia. She was the hotel doc directly. And they had four horses and they had a horse, uh, like a riding school next to it. And I'm like, well, okay. I do love horses now. And, and they had donkeys. I played with donkeys. Um, so I was like, okay, how much more fun can I have? And that's why I'm looking at co-housing. So can I have two or three houses around in Europe where I am co-housing with a couple of people? We um, rent it together or one person rents each place. And then we like have a co-creation with it because a lot of us are traveling a lot. So we don't really need one place. Um, so there's something I'm looking at and really like, okay, I'm asking a lot of questions how that could look like one of the owners or basically this hotel was going to be a co-housing from the beginning, but then the nat natural park didn't allow that. If you bought something there and wanted to renovate something, you had to make more, um, you had to employ people. It had to make, it had to create more jobs. So then they turn it into a hotel, but they still want to rent or buy houses there where they could be co-housing. And they said to me, you can either put it in the hotel or we can see if we can find a space together. I'm like, really? <laughs> um, so, Drell, we need to talk. Yeah, because not only us, because that's, some, that's one of my big projects. And I know it's going to happen. And, uh, and uh, oh, Susanna, goodbye. We will see yeah. you soon. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Uh, we will see you Kiss soon. Your horses. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Of course. You, you're good. But, um, yeah, and that's definitely, you know, I have a couple of people that asked me about it. And uh, we're looking for different places. So that's definitely the conversation you know having different places area for and i'm looking for one in france for several people too cool awesome i'm very um, interested. oh really oh god yes yeah i'm very interested i'm also interested in like hey I, I really love hotels and and things like this i'm like wondering if i should open a hotel somewhere too or buy into a hotel like i love these things so i'm like hmm, hmm. so there's a lot of things where i'm like okay and that's a nice setting because everybody has their individual, you know, place where they can just be uh, separate, uh, be by themselves, whatever, have some alone time and then have all the space where you can do a thousand things together. So, yes, that's one of my topics for August, at least at latest in August. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, God. I have a lot of things. You guys are going to be very <laughs> I have so many demands in my world at the moment and I have so much things I want to create and I see where I stop them and limit them and we might have to do a lot of pre-work to get those things going already now and I'm bringing all of this fun energy to the class because I want to create so much more so I'm like I'm in for this uh, I'm so grateful I'm so happy for everything we're going to create and even if we're just lost for work while we have the registration uh, I'm freaking going to have the most amazing time there um, me too you're not alone <laughs> And, and I'm like, you don't have to come. I'll be very happy anyway. <laughs> um, but I don't need this. I, it would be good. I need somebody that let, gives me all my names for all the things I'm going to create. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant, by the way. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. That one's done. It's a wrap. That's it's definitely a wrap. A wrap. <laughs> and you'll all get in contact with us with all the practical stuff if you're joining. So I know a couple of people have email things and i'm like hmm, very very good the fun part in all this creation is the people that were around the hotel while the, last week i was there uh the hotel people talked to the, the people that were living there yeah she's coming back with the whole group and doing this creation thing blah 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 and everybody's like what is that how much does it cost how can i join i'm like uh ah uh, it's not really meant yeah we have a little pre it's <laughs> i was like how do i do this <laughs> so i was Sorry, like funny so this might be something we create in a 
different way in the future. I don't know, like people got really, really curious. So I'm like, wow, this is cool. <laughs> and but um, it's still in English, so good. How does it get any better? Exactly. Wee wee wee. Uh, so if you have any questions you know you can connect with any of us, of us and um let's have fun and let's create already now yes mm -hmm. yes yes, yes. yes. <laughs> are we supposed to do this <laughs> is that that our thing is <laughs> 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 that was a minute of commercials. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a fun picture. Like, do, 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 do. we've been practicing all week. Oh, definitely. Oh, that was a hard practice. That's why it looks so bad. Just, <laughs> oh my god. Um, my dog is ready to go out now. She's been ready for two hours. And one okay. day, why the hell am I on my computer? Well, at least it has to work sometimes. Um, <laughs> we're going to go for a long walk in Helsingborg and sniff out the area and see what has changed in six months, right, Zinia? Wow. <laughs> because a lot of things have changed here in six months. So this is going to be exciting. Wow. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Yes. Bye, my Thank you, Thank you Bye. Thank you, guys. Love you guys. Bye, Bye. Nico, Sonia, and everybody.